Hey everybody. So I wanted to share a story of something that happened just a few days ago. I was in the mall with some friends and we were actually sitting at the food court waiting to go into a store and I was watching this little boy several tables over. Actually he was all the way across the food court and he was just as cute as cute could be. He was uh, just the epitome of cuteness. Um, probably three or four and there was nobody with him that I'm aware of except his mother. She was just smiling at him and playing with him and he was definitely having a good time. He was not rambunctious or anything like that, but he was just scampering around the table where she was and his focus was only on her. She would play with him. He was laughing. Um, he was trotting around and he was just so confident. It was funny. At one point she scooped him up and gave him a big hug and he just laughed, giggled, and she sat him back down and he ran back around the table again, again, never bothering anybody else, just staying right with her. And when they got up to leave, at one point he grabbed hold of her hand, you know, just holding one finger because he's a little guy. So he was just holding on to her one finger and he was just kind of rocking back and forth. It was just so cute. And then as they started to walk toward the door to leave, he was walking just maybe two steps in front of her, not getting too far ahead. He knew she was close behind. And he just had this cute little three or four year old swagger about him. He was so confident, just utterly confident in her presence being there. And as he walked away, I was just struck by the picture. I just knew that it was something I'd remember indefinitely um, because that's how we're supposed to be. That's how we're supposed to live our lives. When we know that we've got a father who cares about us, he's right there. There are times when he just scoops us up and loves on us. And there are times when he lets us just walk around and, and just be in his presence. Um, there are times when he lets us hold his hand and walk beside him. And there are times when he just lets us get our swagger on because he knows um, that he loves us and more importantly, him. We're just, we're just his. We belong to him. We belong in his presence. And that's the way it was always meant to be. Our very first commission in this life was to take dominion, to be fruitful, to multiply. That's in, in Genesis. At the very beginning of our story, that's what we were meant to do and who we were meant to be. And I've just over the last few years really had to understand that that's really still our main focus is just to be in his presence. He never wanted anything different for us. Um, mankind, of course, fell from grace. We all know the story. We know what happened. And the truth is, ever since then, we've been trying to find a way to figure out our purpose. But it's so simple. Our purpose never changed. See, when Moses gave the law, it was a list of rules of things that we had to do to um, basically to, to please God. And these were the laws toward um, getting us back into relationship with him. But we could never keep even one of those laws. Not even one. So Jesus came, and when Jesus came, he didn't abolish the law. He fulfilled it completely. In his presence, he fulfilled every single law. So throughout all of the Old Testament, people's purpose kind of changed from that original plan, and they began to focus on the law. They really began to focus on the things that they could not do instead of remembering the one and only thing that we were ever supposed to do. And that was to just be in his presence. And in order to do that, Jesus says, we must become like a little child. It doesn't mean that we become childish. There's a very big difference between childish and childlike. And so we aren't meant to be childish, but we are meant to be childlike. And when I looked at that little boy the other day in the mall, and I watched him, he was... He was childlike because he was a child. He had not yet been jaded by the world. He had not been tainted by problems. He was confident in the care of his mother. 
He wasn't thinking about the fact that in probably two months, he's going to outgrow that pair of shoes on his feet that he was scampering around in. He wasn't thinking about the fact that in just a few weeks, the clothes he was wearing would no longer fit because he was going to grow out of them. He had just finished a meal at the food court. He wasn't thinking about supper already. Um, he, he didn't have a care in the world. He was fixated on his mother. And just like that, we're supposed to be fixated on our father. When we are fixated on God, and when we give him our full attention, and we are completely uh, just immersed in his presence, it puts us back where we were supposed to be all along. It's in his presence that we can be fruitful. It's in his presence that we multiply his goodness. It's in his presence that we can take dominion and be totally unaffected by our circumstances in any negative way. That's not to say we won't ever face things because that's just simply not true. But the truth is we aren't to be overcome by those things. It's all about our focus, where we're focused. And as long as we stay focused on him, that's all we have to do. Anyway, I just thought that was really awesome. It impacted me just watching him. And I just wanted to share what I had seen. It was incredible. All right, y'all. Till next time.